Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the book Knowledge to Forage Wild Edible and Medicinal Plants and Trees. And today we're going to show you how to make some super easy peasy fresh foraged fruit jam. Yeah, we're going to teach you how to make some jam from some freshly foraged fruit just like this. So come with us and we'll show you how to make it. We're going to collect a couple of handfuls of blackberries full of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. A few handfuls of hearty hawthorns, good for your heart. Some apples. Some beautiful immune system boosting elderberries. And last but not least, some sloes from the blackthorn tree. And welcome back to our humble home. And we're going to turn our lovely freshly foraged fruits into this yummy scrummy jam. Super easy peasy recipe and the best thing about this recipe is you can use any fruit you like. As long as your fruit weighs the same as your jam sugar, you're good to go. But for this recipe, we're going to use a bowl of blackberries, about five apples, a little bowl of elderberries, some yummy slow berries, but not too many because they're super sour, and some lovely hawthorns. Step one, prepare the fruit. Take your lovely apple and peel it up. Now you're gonna chop the apples into tiny little pieces, so little slices, and then dices, little sticks, and then the other way to make tiny little squares. Apples are sliced and diced, leave out the cores, and now we're just gonna de-stone our slow berries. Just give them a squeeze. There we go. Keep that bit, get rid of the pip. About 10 slow berries. Don't want to use too many because they're super, super sour, but they do add a good flavour. There goes the de-pipped slows. Now we're going to de-pip our hawthorn berries. Give them a little squeeze. Ooh, yummy. See all that squish? Chuck it in the bowl. About a handful. Once you've got all your hawthorns in the bowl, pick off your best elderberries. So use a handy fork just to pop them off. Now we're going to measure out our fruit. Just going to pour in elderberries. And just using a mug because it makes it really easy for the measurements. It's all a bit approximate, but gives us a good idea. So one. Two. And a little bit. Add the same amount of jam sugar. One, two, three. And I'll leave the bit out because we don't need that. Pop your hob onto a medium heat and give it a really good stir. Keep stirring until you reach boiling point. It takes about five-ish minutes. Now it's all melted together, before it gets boiling hot, we're just gonna give it a mash. Just squish up all those lovely blackberries, all the elderberries. We're not going to worry too much because it's nice to have chunks of fruit in the jam. Give it a mash up. 
just as your jam starts to boil, pop your glass jars in the lowest setting of your oven for five minutes and this will sterilise them. We're going to let our jam bubble and boil for two minutes and then add in a knob of, we're going to use olive oil or margarine, you could use butter and that just stops you getting a thick foam on the top. Add in your knob of butter, give it a stir, and then we're going to let this boil for two more minutes. And whilst that's happening, I'm just going to pour over some boiling water onto our jam lids. Turn off the heat on your hob, Let's take your jars out of the oven. Pour the jam into the jars. And then pop on your lids. Jars are very hot. And the heat from the jam will seal the lids on. There we go. Ta-da! And there we have it. Ta-da! Freshly foraged fruit jam. Freshly foraged fruit jam. <laughs> <laughs> so time for a taste test, guys. Taste test. This is the best jam mm, in the amazing. world. Smells amazing. Delicious. <laughs> so good. You can't go wrong with jam, guys. And this recipe is so easy peasy. Really easy to do. And if you want it in written form, you can uh, find it. Yes. You yeah. can find our recipe in written form in the back of our Ta -da! book. Knowledge to Forage. Uh, so we've got bundles of recipes in here, guys. And our lovely jam recipe, just before our friend's recipes, pine toffees. There, there it is. Next to the elderflower lemon curd, we've got Jam. Fruit jam. Fruit jam. So this book is packed full of identical wild edible plants. Identical wild edible plants. Identical, <laughs> yes, identical. So each plant, <laughs> each plant has full spread mm -hmm. images so you can learn what the plant looks like. Identification, culinary uses, value to wildlife scientific studies what these plants can help good for coughs and colds and also the traditional uses as well so the science is backing up those traditional historical uses a lot of history and folklore in there as well guys to connect you to the plants knowledge to forage that's where the jam recipe's at yeah so enjoy your freshly foraged hedgerow jam don't forget to do all the modern wild things such as like comment subscribe ring the bell Find um, us on Facebook, yeah. we're always putting things up there, so you can follow us along on there as well. Yeah, we're also on that uh, modern contraption called Instagram. And let us know what you think of the jam in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, let us know what you think of the tangy, delicious jam. Peace. <laughs>